welcome back to another Star Wars review. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at the super awesome uh, new playset that comes with a Wampa and Luke Skywalker. Um, so this is branded with The Last Jedi, but it came out with the Solo merchandise and it has the new Force 2.0, I guess, technology with it. Um, I did want to get this guy because... Um, I don't have a Wampa in three and three quarter inch and so I really felt the need to buy this. Um, so it was rather inexpensive and the Wampa has pretty good articulation. I really enjoy the box. Sorry it almost hurts to open it but nonetheless I am so that y'all I can review it and show you guys. Um, on the back here getting into the packaging you can tell that the little force thing is now the new white one with the looks like green data pad and then of course um, the wampa's arm comes off and there you kind of see him better you can see the articulation that the wampa has and i think it looks great um and then obviously you have luke in the corner there so my sister actually found this one yet again um and went ahead and picked it up and um i paid her back for it because um i think that this guy's kind of going to be hard to find so anyways without further ado let's get this guy open um so that i can review him yay Okay, so back again with these guys opened, and before we get into the review, um, I did want to mention that this thing comes with instructions, obviously, on how to install the Wampa arm, which is kind of brainless, so you can figure it out. Um, and it also tells you how to use the little Force 2.0. Um, I was thinking initially that it was just going to be an update for the old one um, that I got back, like, with the Last Jedi, I guess. Um, I thought it was going to be just you could use that one too, but I'm pretty sure now that the 2.0 you have to buy the new thing to hear the sounds because they didn't pre-program these sounds, um, so there's no way to update it or anything. So that's kind of a bummer. Won't be getting that because it's like 40 bucks or $30 or something like that, um, unless maybe it goes on sale then I might get it, but I don't have a huge drive to get it because I saw how the first one worked and I did do a review over that one, so I probably won't end up getting that one, but um, yeah, so let's start with Luke Skywalker because he is the most boring. Um, here he is, and he is in the five points of articulation with the movable head, shoulders, and hips, or thighs, I guess, legs, whatever. Um, he does look good, though, other than that. The detailing on him is quite good. Um, you can see lots of ruffles, um, especially on the back. You can see these pants are particularly ruffled right here. Also, I do want to point out that he's rather poofy, which I think is kind of a neat detail because it shows that his jacket is fluffy. It's not just painted on. He is kind of bulgy because of it. Um, and his face looks pretty good. He does have the wounds on his face. So I don't actually know if I have a Hoth Luke with the Wampa wounds. So this is actually probably going to be a good addition to my collection. Um, he does have a holster right there because it comes with a nice little Han Solo looking blaster, um, which is not detailed at all. And it almost looks like it has a weak point at the barrel because it's a lighter color. It probably got bent when I was taking it out of the package, but it does fit really good in the holster. And then of course, of course, he comes with a lightsaber that you can put in his hand. So I think he looks pretty good. I wish that the camera could pick up the detail by his eye. It's just so small. It's like needle thin. <laughs> So you won't be able to see the marks there, but I think overall uh, he does look good. Um, I thought that they had, he had good detailing, but basically everybody is getting this set for the Wampa. Um, so this Wampa is actually really, really good. Don't be fooled by the five, uh, uh, the five POA Luke because this Wampa is the bomb. Um, as you can tell, he is multi-painted, um, which means that he's not just plain white. He has some yellows where maybe he's getting a lot dirtier, like on towards his legs or on his chest because he's eating and on his hands. Um, I think that that's great. And then he obviously has the blood on his chin, which is really cool. Um, and overall, I think he looks good. Um, the, the hair sculpting is quite, quite well done, I think. And then of course he has an articulated head. His, this shoulder moves. This shoulder moves out like this, but it is restricted by his head. Um, the elbows move and then that's it for the for the um, the arms but this one is the arm that pops off and his elbow does move eh, there we go it's a little stuck and it, it's on a, a spin joint like this so you can move it in any direction which is really cool all it does is you just pull off the arm like that so it's painted around the joint and then painted around the arm so very easily removable arm 
Um, as for his legs, his um, hips do move, his knees are also on a new ball joint, and then his ankles move too. So he's got an amazing range of articulation. Um, and this is something that we expect to see, especially in today's time. So I definitely think that this is probably the best Wampa that has come out for the three and three quarter inch line. And I am super excited to own him. I think that he looks great. You can do a lot of posing with him, um, with the way his arms move. So I think that it looks great. You could set yourself up enough, a nice diorama, um, with this guy. And I really like the blood on his chin too. And then of course his hands are black inside. I didn't show you, but it looks really cool. Definitely the Wampa Monster we have come to know and love. So um, I definitely recommend picking up this set um, because of the Wampa alone. So like I said, the Luke is okay. He's five points of articulation, but they did do a good job with detailing. Um, but the Wampa is honestly where it's at. And in my opinion, I think that it's worth the money because of this. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, if you agree or disagree with me, or if you have this set or can't find this set, let me know. Um, and yes, so... That's pretty much it. Thank you as always for watching my videos and have a great day guys. Thanks. Bye.